Jesse versus Jesse. You know it's not gonna be a Crystal Beast mirror. You just know. It's either gonna be Harpies or, yeah, it's definitely a Harpy player. Or Fire Fist. I'd be surprised if it was Crystal Beast. Yeah, cause I like the characters from GX, but Sartorius and Adrian Gecko, not a fan. Yeah, Harpies, we don't care. Ew, he's playing, he's playing Harpy Harpist? Gross. Why does it look like, oh, it looked like those were boots. Like she was wearing fake feet, like it was a costume, but instead they're Sonic rings. Harpies, gross. Harpy's gross. My monster's effect activates. Come on out. I special summon my monster. There's Oracle. Activates. From my hand, I activate a spell. Feather rest. I know it is very shameful, ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it the most shameful thing you've ever seen? Okay, what do we even do here? We can go number 18. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So let's search for a promise. So we can go number 18. Let's search for a conclave. Because that's the best this deck has to offer. And then we'll activate Necro Valley. Yeah. Necro Valley. So we gotta go Bond add Tiger. It's very specific to play around the Cyber Slash. Bond add Tiger. Play Sapphire Pegasus. So that we can Crystal Promise and we can play around the Bounce. Pegasus Effect. Place another Pegasus. We'll normal summon Topaz Tiger. Say howdy. Please don't do anything. Please don't touch me. Yes! Oh, this is a blowout. This is a blowout. Heraldry Patriarch. Crazy. Easy money! All of a sudden, he's like, what do I do? This is a quick effect, buddy. Tretch? Sure. Sure, dude. Chain this, target the Oracle. Yo, number 18 kind of sick against Harpies. Breaks boards. So we choose that, destroys everything. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Past turn. What are you gonna do, Feather Rest? What could he possibly top deck here? Feather Rest? Sure. Let's go. Bro, this number 18 is insane against Crystal Beasts. Or, I mean, against Harpies. Bro, this is insane. Do we even Conclave bounce anything? I don't think so. We're trading pretty well against his back row right now. So let's draw for turn. Rainbow Bridge, gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Yeah, number 18, that was huge. Huge play. Normal summon Pegasus. We will not use its effect. Yeah, just the fact that we stuck a Necro Valley after that. That was a huge Harpy board. They set two back row, too. That was like the biggest Harpy play that could have happened. And we actually just broke it. This might go on YouTube. Number 18, kind of crazy. Yeah, I know, right? Once he got to the XE summon. Yeah, he didn't tretch, and that was the end of it. He's like, what could two Crystal Beasts possibly do to my field, right? Alright, so we'll bounce back his set. Draw. Neo's fusion off the top. 
Crystal B's best deck, baby. If you watch this video and you don't say Crystal Beasts are the best deck after seeing this, what it does to the known best deck right now, I don't know what to say to you. You don't have eyes. You can't say that Crystal Beasts ain't the best deck after watching this. Insane. Top tier Crystal Beast. Neos Fusion. And he just doesn't have anything. Drowning Mirror Force? There's no way Harpies play that. No way. If he does Drowning, we still have Conclave and Necro Valley up. He's not winning this. He is not winning this. We got a Crystal Power Up. Power ourselves up. Sapphire Pegasus, roll up a storm. Time to shut you down. Dr. Kappa. Welcome to the Conclave. Boom! Best deck! Jesse v. Jesse. What are you doing? Shameful act playing Harpies. I cannot believe this. Back to Crystal Beasts. 